वेलकम टू योर मोस्ट फेवरेट चैनल हार्ट बीट माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर अमृत केजरीवाल दिस चैनल इज मेनली मेंट फॉर एम बी बी स्टूडेंट्स पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट्स मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल्स एंड ऑल दोज हु मे फाइंड इट विट मोर ईजी इट इज़ एन अटैम्प्ट टू मेक द कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मेडिकल साइंसिस मोर सिंप्लीफाइड एंड ईजियर फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग Today we we'll learn something about hyperkalemia. Channel's name is Heartbeat. My name is Dr. Amrit Kejriwal. Coming to the basic physiology, is the major intracellular cation. Ninety-eight percent is intracellular, two percent is extracellular. But if this two percent increases, then it can cause a significant damage. Normal range. is 3.5 to 5.5 mg per deciliter excretion is 90% by kidneys and 10% by guts so if there is any problem in the kidneys the chances of having a potassium imbalance is more likely than that by gut serum potassium greater than 5.5 mg per deciliter is said to be hyperkalemia greater than 6 mg per deciliter increases the risk of mortality decrease in renal excretion is the most frequent cause drugs are implicated and dietary intake of potassium may affect in susceptible individuals it may be considered as a medical emergency depending upon the potassium level it causes cardiac arrhythmias such as sinus bradycardia and sinus arrest slow idiopathic ventricular rhythms ventricular tachycardia ventricular fibrillation and may be responsible for causing ac stole it may cause ecg changes mild changes cause tall peak t waves short qt interval and st segment depression progressive prolongation of the pr interval may be seen widening of qrs complex decreased amplitude of p waves and then absence and we may get a sine wave a systole is a late manifestation there are other features such as ascending paralysis diaphragmatic or respiratory paralysis and it may contribute to metabolic acidosis pseudo hyperkalemia this is due to release of potassium due to excessive exercise during venipuncture marked increase in cellular elements such as leukocytosis thrombocytosis or cooling of blood after venipuncture genetic defects of rbc membrane transport also contribute to pseudo hyperkalemia there may be intracellular to extracellular shift which causes hyperkalemia acidosis hyperosmolarity such as hypotonic dextrose mannitol beta 2 adrenergic antagonists digoxin hyperkalemic periodic paralysis lysine arginine and e amino caprylic acid acid use of succinyl choline in thermal trauma neuromuscular injury disuse atrophy mucositis etc and rapid tumor lysis syndrome there can be inadequate excretion due to various causes inhibition of the renin angiotensin aldosterone axis increase risk in of hyperkalemia when the following are used in combination that is ace inhibitors and ace angioreceptor blockers blockade of the mineralocorticoid receptor spironolactone and blockade of epithelial sodium channels amrite trimetrine trimethoprim and pentamidin so when these drugs are used in combination hyper the kalemia may be caused due to tension of potassium inadequate excretion inadequate excretion may be also due to other causes such as congestive heart failure and volume depletion which is caused due to decreased delivery in the distal part hyporenic hypoaldosteronism seen in tuberous interstitial disease such as sle sickle cell anemia obstructive uropathy diabetes diabetic nephropathy drugs chronic kidney disease advanced stage so we see that many of the drugs are causing hyperkalemia so if a patient has got hyperkalemia we must look out for the history of drugs again renal resistance to mineralocorticoids may be seen such as in tuberous interstitial diseases 
एस एल ई माइडोसिस सिकल सेल ऑब्सेप्टिव यूरोपैथी पोस्ट एक्यूट ट्रिब्रोनिक्रोस एंड हेडिट्री एडवांस रीनल इनसफिशियंसी कैन ऑल्सो कॉज इन एडिकुट एक्सक्रीशन सच एस सीन इन क्रॉनिक किडनी डिजीज एंड स्टेज रीनल डिजीज एंड एक्यूट ऑलैग्योरिक किडनी डिजीज प्राइमरी एडिनल इनसफिशियंसी ऑटो इम्यून एडिसंस इन्फेक्शियस सच एस एच आई वी सैटोमेगालस ट्यूबिकलोसिस इन्फिल्ट्रेटिव एमालीडोसिस मेलिग्नेंसी मेटास्टेटिक कैंसर ड्रग एसोसिएटेड हेपेरिन लो मल्क्रोड हेपेरिन हेडिट्री एडिनल हाइपोप्लेजिया विच इज यूजली कॉन्जेनाइटल एडिनल हेमरेज और इन्फॉक्शन एंड एंटी फॉसोलिपिड एंटीबॉडी सिंड्रोम्स अपोस्ट हाइप्रोकलीमिया टू द हिस्ट्री एंड एग्जामिनेशन सो इन द हिस्ट्री वी हैव टू आस फॉर द मेडिकेशन डाइट एंड डाइटरी सप्लीमेंट्स रिस्क फैक्टर्स फॉर किडनी फेलियर रिडक्शन यूरिन आउटपुट ब्लड प्रेशर वॉल्यूम स्टेटस लैब इन्वेस्टिगेशन सीरम इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स प्यो एंड कैटिन सीरम ऑस्मोलैलिटी सीरम मैग्नीशियम कैल्शियम सी बी सी एंड इन द यूरिन यू बैफ्ट टू द पी एच ऑस्मोलैलिटी क्रैटिन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स सम ऑफ दीज इन्वेस्टिगेशन मे नॉट बी रिक्वायर फॉर ऑल द पेशेंट्स बट मे बी रिक्वायर फॉर पर्टिकुलर सिलेक्टेड केसेस ना अप्रोच टू हाइप्रोकेलीमिया सी एज ऑफ पोटेशियम एंड ग्रेटर देन सिक्स मिलीग्राम पर डेसी लीटर और देर इज सी चेंजेस दैन कंसिडर एज इमरजेंसी ट्रीटमेंट लुक फॉर सूडो हाइपर कैलीमिया दैन नो फॉर द वर्क बट इफ पेशेंट है हाइपर कैलीमिया पोटेशियम इज ग्रेट नॉट ग्रेटर देन सिक्स एंड और एंड और इसी चेंजेस आर नॉट देर एंड सूडो हाइपर कैलीमिया इज रूल्ड आउट दैन वी गो on a detailed history clinical examination and lab investigations coming from the history clinical examination and lab investigations look for evidence of increased potassium load treat and reassess so if the patient is taking increased potassium then we check that reassess the potassium or if there is a transcellular shift treat accordingly cause of transcellular shift have already been described decreased potassium excretion it means if the urine in potassium excretion is there do the urine electrolytes if the urine soda sodium is less than 25 mg per deciliter it means decreased delivery of sodium to the distal part do the ttkg if urine sodium is greater than 25 the ttkg may be greater than 8 or it may be less than 5 so if the ttkg is greater than 8 it means that it's reduced tubular flow so it is suggestive of advanced renal disease or reduced extracellular fluid volume if the ttkg is less than 5 it means that this reduced distal potassium secretion do the 9 alpha alpha fludrocortisone and then the ttkg may remain below 8 and if it's below 8 it may be due to a variety of drugs and diseases list has not been enumerated over here or ttkg can be greater than 8 after giving fludrocortisone so do the aldosterone and it will be low do again the renin if it is high then it goes in favor of adrenal insufficiency isolated aldosterone deficiency heparin use of ace or arbs or ketoconazole and if the renin is low it is suggestive of diabetes mellitus glomerulonephritis nsaids or beta blockers treatment emergency indications ecg changes and or potassium potassium greater than 6.5 emergency we have to antagonize the hyperkalemia so 10 cc of 10% calcium gluconate over 2 to 3 minutes it may be repeated or may be given as a rapid reduction of potassium so you give 10 ml of iv insulin followed by 50 ml of 50% dextrose beta 2 agonists may be used nebulize albuterol 10 to 20 mg in 4 ml of ns over 10 minutes or intravenous bicarbonate has no major role in controlling the re- rapid reduction of potassium removal of the potassium from the body has to be done also so it can be done by cat cation exchange resins polystyrene sulfonate or pyrotomer 
loop and thiazide diuretics can also be used but the most efficacious way of removal of potassium from the body is dialysis and this is the most effective method.